all want to eat a mushroom pie that we made ourselves that we grew, <laughs> right? Right? There is a new technology that is allowing people to eat 3D printed food that grows by itself in its own little world. Edible Grow is about 3D printing with living organisms. You print a structure of seeds and spores and yeast and from there on it will develop in three to five days to a fully grown edible. As it comes out of the 3D printer you can really see the straight lines of the technologies and as it develops you can see the organic shape. So by transforming appearance you can see the stages of growth and the development of taste and flavor. By 3D printing food, you can make the production chain or the food chain very short. The transport will be less, there is less land needed, but it's also you can experiment with new structures. It's called edible growth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> so you, you don't want to eat this? Okay, like if this is where replicator technology is, is like in the forefront, us? I'll wait 30, 50, 100,000 years. I don't, I don't think it's 100,000 years away. You, this is, okay, so what's happening is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Poor Meredith. Uh, basically what it is, is this, this dough is 3D printed into a shape and it contains edible soil and various seeds. And once it's printed, it only takes a few days for the seeds and mushrooms to germinate um, and they start to poke out of the small holes in the top. It does look like a mini pie, kind of. I'm sure it doesn't taste like a mini pie, though. I didn't see Let's any be 3D real, printing. that looks gross. Yeah, I didn't see any 3D printing <laughs> marinara sauce in there too. No, no. that's a terranium. That's a little yeah. mini world. Yeah, but, you can you can buy those at like home and garden stores, yeah. but you never want to eat them because they're usually encased in glass. I mean, I guess for your Galactus cosplay, it could be perfect, but <laughs> you're eating a tiny world. Yeah, oh, you have to pra you have to practice eating yeah. them though, and you not do. looking disgusted. It's yeah. There's I just no I want to know like when they were designing this, they were like, oh yeah, well we've got to have dough. Um, <laughs> You know what else everyone loves? Mushrooms. I like Let's put mushrooms, mushrooms in. I, I can't do mushrooms. Like so I eat I watch that and I'm like, I would try the dough, maybe. I think like it's but pretty. like I don't think I have a compulsion to put that in my mouth. No, I set it no. in my like windowsill. Yeah. It it looks like a plant. It, mm -hmm. it, it, well, it, it is, is a plant. It is a plant. Yeah. Is a plant. What, what's terrifying is to think of when they f figure out how to put um, grow meat out of the dough. That will be that is truly terrifying. So like a small little cow sprouts out. <laughs> yeah, or like like a little pork chop, just like or like bacon mushrooms. Uh, oh, like okay, I'd eat that. You eat the hell out of bacon mushrooms. mushrooms. That's hands maple down. maple bourbon bacon yeah. mushrooms. Oh my god. Well, this technology is not quite there, and you know this uh, this concept is still just a concept. It would require several years of research around three D printing technology and making but it looks more delicious. There is something to be said about like the future of three D printing and like that replicator technology. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's like this is the forefront. Like if we give ourselves like another 10, 15 years, yeah, like it, it'll be like you know Back to the Future, putting a little pill in the microwave and growing it into a giant pizza. I mean, like, that's what we all want. <laughs> That's what we all want. I want to be able to grow a pizza. Yeah, I don't want to grow it. I just want to hit a button and I want it to appear. That's, yeah. I, I don't want to see the process. I don't, I'm one of those people, I don't like to know where my food comes from. No. Otherwise, I would never eat at McDonald's. Well, maybe, <laughs> you know what, I'm going to get into a tangent if I talk about this. Um, you know, I think it's, it's a cool idea. I mean, about sustainability and yeah. um, taking food maybe in places where it wouldn't necessarily grow on its own. Uh, but does it look delicious? Hell nah. What oh, do you think no. about this project, audience? Um, we made ourselves clear about whether we'd like to eat it and where we'd like to see this technology go in the future. Uh, let us know your ideas below in the comments. And before we leave, I wanted to give one final shout out to uh, Matt Key, Meredith Placco. They are the hosts of Marvel Movie News. It is a <laughs> regular short name now, and I <laughs> love it. And it's on Popcorn Talk. Yes. Popcorn Talk Network. Popcorn. So what are you guys talking about mainly? Uh, mostly Marvel. Marvel news. Yeah, movie. Yeah. Mo movie. It's all movie like, news. Yeah. So this week you're so, thinking I mean, about Daredevil. We, right? we will oh, we'll well. talk about Daredevil, uh, Age of Ultron. Mm. A new trailer comes out Thursday night. There yes. might be some more 
there's speculation that there's more news to come based on Robert Downey Jr.'s tweet from last week. So. What did he say last week? See, I'm not on top of this. Oh, so he said that on this coming Thursday, the mm -hmm. He said in eight days. Yeah, in eight days from last week. A big week, announcement. There will be a big announcement, so it falls on our show. Also, despite the fact that we move our show around pretty regularly, Marvel likes to drop really, really big news seven minutes after our show. Yeah, ends. like the Benedict Cumberbatch's yeah. Doctor Strange came out 15 minutes after we recorded. Mind? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Doctor Strange <laughs> is my favorite character, mm -hmm. too. So I'm aware of this. <laughs> yeah, well, they may not know that. So. Well, I think the it world drove me aware of it, this. It drove me nuts. It drove me, it, like, yeah, I was at an audition yeah. and just, like, almost threw my phone. I was like, no, <laughs> come on! We just finished. We could have covered that. Have, but yeah, so it, it'll probably drop after our show, whatever this big Whatever news this is. crazy Well, the, yeah. the trailer will probably not come out until that night, but there might be bigger news that's released that morning. No, it'll probably get leaked the night before. So, Marvel's really. Probably so. Yeah, probably so. But, but yeah, we talk about it's It's a, a 45 to an hour long show, so mm -hmm. we cover, you know, anything. Cover lots. A lot. Well, I like how you two are talking shop with us a little bit. I did not know that, and I could probably learn much more if I watch, and you watch, Marvel <laughs> Movie News on Popcorn Talk. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>